Everybody get ready for a haunted hideaway as we play what I believe is the worst Mario Party board in the entire series. <laughs> One mysterious monarch, two terrifying pitfalls, and a billion ways to go mad. You'll find it all behind that door, deranging, rearranging, it's King Boo's haunted hideaway. You want to hear a few secrets about this board? Yeah, we may as well. I do apologize about this voice, everybody. Anyway, Shockin' Eight 1000, we're putting for Juicy, welcoming you to King Boo's Haunted Hideaway of Mario Party 8, my least favorite board in the entire game. Right after playing my most favorite board in the entire game. Come close, folks, the walls have ears, the stairs are staring, the whole manor has no manners. But don't panic, keeping your head is key to the Haunted Hideaway, where you must locate King Boo. The manor is a maze where you can't scan ahead to find the correct path. That true path leads to King Boo. Most of the other paths, well, those dead end, those dead end in pitfall rooms. Take the correct turns and you'll stumble upon King Boo's den. He'll give you a star for only ten coins. And judging from that picture, it looks like you have to go north to enter the room he's in. But don't be fooled by that. They use that as a demonstration because the pedestal where your character runs up to actually be introduced to King Boo, that always faces south when he does that demonstration. It could be facing left, it could be facing right, it could be facing north, it could be facing south. I, you literally have no idea. But yeah, King Boo will boot you out. He will restart the star hunt here. But all of the rooms will be shuffled. Now you can actually understand why I hate this board. And I actually do have a statement to say about this. Not about the characters we are facing against. Who are Hammerbro, Daisy and Wario. But mainly because... Um, uh, the fact that... Depending on what difficulty the AI is, we'll have a higher chance of knowing where King Boo is. Since I'm doing this on very hard difficulty, the AI will know where King Boo is all the time. No joke, they will know where he is, where he is all the time. But as the human player, you literally have no idea. And obviously what King Boo said in the statement about you cannot see the path up ahead, he is not joking. The only time you can see a path is the path that someone has already treaded in. So like right here, if I bring up the map as best as I can, you can see straight away, there's the first room that everybody is defaultly able to walk in, and then there's this room. I can scroll over here, but as you can see, since nobody has gone in that room, I can't go any further. Same for up here. There are happening spaces to be found on this board, but there are only two of which that I remember. This one, if you land on it, you will have a 50-50 chance of getting either coins or pink boos that will steal your coins. I think it actually gives you 20 coins or steals 10. I do not know. But there is another happening space that shows Mouse. He will let you do um, a motion in um, firing a metallic ball inside a dish that is a rotating circle and there are holes on uh, well the holes like DK Doug covered up um, if the ball lands in one of those holes that's in a character space you'll get to steal either candy a star and one other thing, I'm not too sure why, it's probably coins. But yeah, it's literally, it's definitely 
candy and stars, but I don't know what the third item is. But there is a hole that is directly in the center of the wheel. If that ball lands in that hole, you don't get to steal anything from anybody. And yes, he's landing on a DK space. DK is in the house! No need to worry about pitfalls when he's swinging in the wings. And if you bump into DK in one of those rooms, he'll give you a star as a present. So hurry for DK! Big downside though! All DK spaces have turned into Bowser spaces! But yeah, uh, in case you were wondering, the DK, he only covers up one of the pit holes, not the other. So there might be a time that, because um, he did say that there were two pit full rooms. Okay, Wario... He's getting coins stolen from him. And it's a four play mini game. I just know. I just know. We do have a lot of new mini games that we have not yet played in four play mini games. And I believe this one is one that we, yeah, have already. <laughs> Literally, the four player mini games, I'll literally count how many we've got left to play. Um, let's see. We've got one, um, two, three. We got four. Four four player mini games left to play. Going down a very slow race. While you're giving me a little bit of a nudge, you give me a head start. Like I obviously say, it is way better to be in the middle in this game. If you're on the edges, you are going to fall behind really quickly. Hammerbro is deciding to hook that wooden bridge. Wario is hugging a rock. Daisy is miles behind. And Daisy. Easiest minigame to win if you're sat in the middle. Oh, and um, in case you're wondering, uh, the lucky space on this board, I don't believe we actually... Oh, frick. Okay, so apparently there's one pitfall room in this rotation. Now, obviously, since Hamburger was skipping over that, I actually will explain what Bowser was, like, saying. Um... If you approach Bowser and you have a star, he will steal that star from you. But, um, I believe he gives you 10 coins if you don't have anything in your inventory at all. I think, I don't know. Okay. So since we actually noticed that the pitfall room was entered to the left, that obviously means that Daisy is no question about it going the right way. Uh, oh no, never mind. Going left from here just sends you back into this room. Right, okay, so I've got a vampire candy. So, I'm going to be sparing of that. Since Hammerbo has got 13 coins and Daisy has 6. Now, the only situation is, since that pitfall rune that Bowser is guarding is actually entered to the left, Daisy could be going that way. But I don't know. 
But like I said, very hard difficulty AI, they know where King Boo is every time. So usually I tend to follow them. Right, so I've got three spaces left. So I would be landing on that blue space there, or whatever is behind that door. Okay, I'm going to risk it. If a Wario or Hammerbro decides to go the opposite direction, then that's going to be a troublesome fate to think who's in the right and who's in the wrong. And Wario is stealing everybody's money. Okay, Wario, he's going up. Okay, so that's actually interesting. So me and Daisy have gone one way and Wario has gone the other. In fact, something I probably just realized, if you had zero stars and zero coins, I would probably believe that Bowser decides to give you 10 coins in order for you to get a star just so that when you next visit Bowser you give him that star. It's like, it's like for instance if you, and I'm not saying this is, but imagine if you was controlling um, one of Bowser's minions and Bowser gives you money to go shopping to get him what he wants. That would be pretty funny. Hey, nice! I got Hammer Bro right in the middle of the jump. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Oh no. I think Hammer Bro's got this in the bag. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Nice! I actually stopped him from making his way up to the platform. There we go, we stopped him. My second shot that hit Hammerbro was the deciding fate. If I missed him there, he would have actually won that minigame. Because the quickest path for you to take was actually the path that Hammerbro takes. You ride that elevator on the far right to the very top that it can go. You then jump to the left, then immediately jump up to the right over to the left, and then you're at the center. Okay, Daisy's avoided the piranha plants. Those are literally the exact same piranha plants from the Donkey Kong board, by the way. Uh, I'm going to use my vampire candy to get my 10 coins back that Wario stole. Thank you. Right in the middle of the one and the zero. I do apologize about Bowser's music being a continuous repeat. I would no question about it be accused of copyright because of this, but honestly, I don't really care what Nintendo says anymore. They've accused me of copyright so many times when I'm not even making any money from these videos. I really am not. A six? I think I landed on the happening space actually. Uh, right, it's actually curiosity's sake. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, I get to land on DK if I go to the left. 
I'm not going to do that because in case this is the pitfall room, it would be giving Daisy a free star. Oh my god, seriously, Wario? <laughs> Ugh, he really is determined to have my 10 coins. Instead he got 5 that time. And it's only me stealing from because Daisy and Hambro don't have any. Okay, that was actually weird. I kind of heard like a slight vibration from... I think it was in Bowser's theme there. I don't know. Yeah, I think I will turn the falling down a bit. Oh, there's the lucky space. If you land on that lucky space, it's basically like Donkey Kong's board where you travel in one straight line to the very end and I believe you get a star. I will look it up anyway just to be sure. Let's see. King Boo's Haunted Hideaway Lucky Space. And what I do find kind of interesting with the um, the picture of King Boo's Haunted Hideaway, it actually shows that King Boo's Haunted Hideaway is twelve, roughly twelve squares. But the picture layout is just a default layout that you probably would uh, technically think, because I can see. Right. Okay. So looking from this picture. We've got seven rooms that are in that do look like you're running inside a building. One room that is a pitfall room. One room that is King Boo's room, and two rooms that are actually outdoors. And it says here, um. Right, after a player encounters Donkey Kong, Bowser, or gets a star from King Boo, the pitfalls return to normal. The lucky space takes the player to the second floor, where there is a small path of blue spaces, each with three coins. At the end of the path is a warp pipe, which takes the player directly to King Boo's room. Right, okay, so that's what the lucky space does. Okay. Uh, right, Sugar Rush. Um, I believe we have already played this mini game. Just let me clarify to be sure. I do apologize about this. Uh, yes, we have. Okay. Okay, so that's the first cake that we're decorating. And I can tell the AI is going to be really slow. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay, seriously, I placed that piece on the right spot twice and it didn't count any time. Okay, that time we got it. Uh, no! God! Okay. Why was that Kiwi put... There. I mean, like, I put that kiwi on the bottom right of the cake, and it sent it to the top left of the cake. Literally, that makes no sense. I might need to look into that at some point. 